Hi, Rabbi. Yeah, hi. How are you? Why is it important for you to be here tonight? Oh, it's crucial with God's help because, unfortunately, our name, our identity has been hijacked by an evil, vile, selfish movement that is purely political, ungodly, and they yet insist in order to simply get legitimacy to use our identity, Judaism and godliness, to intimidate others, to get legitimacy, to get the right of a land, to oppress another people. So isn't it important, isn't it crucial that we stand there and tell the world, you are making, unfortunately, a grand mistake. You should know that these people who are speaking in the name of Jews have not only not been a protection for the Jewish people, and of course what they've done to the Palestinian people is known, but they are the downfall, God forbid. They are the worst factor of exacerbating anti-Semitism because Jews have been living together with Muslims and Christians for hundreds and hundreds of years in every Arab country. And there was never this ingrained religious conflict ingrained hate for the Jewish people. We were able to coexist without any human rights groups. What has changed? What has changed that we can't live in Muslim and Arab countries? This new movement, relatively new movement, Zionism, that started a mere hundred years ago, this has come, this is the new neighbor to the block, and since they're around, there has been contention, strife, death, misery, bloodshed, and suffering. So what is the problem? Is the problem religion? No, religion existed prior to that. The Quran and the Jewish religion existed. What changed? Zionism. What is Zionism? Zionism was a movement created by non-religious Jews, people who detested religion, Theodor Herzl, Jabotinsky, Chaim Weizmann, who wanted to transform Judaism from religion into nationalism, based nationalism, taking God out of the equation. That was their goal. And then they came in order to ensnare the religious Jews and the evangelistic Christians, and they started calling themselves the Eschaut de Gaulle, the beginning of redemption, that there's some godly cause to take Jews out of exile. And all the rabbis around the world spoke up and said vehemently in, 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 in opposition, they said, are you crazy? God has brought the destruction of the temple because of our sins and the not because of our physical weakness and the and the solution is not a physical issue of going back and taking up arms the solution is in when God with his compassion will make a metaphysical change where all humanity together will go up and serve God until that day comes we are under our oath we are expressly on the oath of God from a prophecy of King Solomon not to on the three oaths not to return en mass to the land of Israel, to the Holy Land, not to rebel against any nation. We have to be loyal citizens in every country we're residing, and not to make any attempt to end exile. So this concept of making our own entity is simply ignoring the words of, words of God and rebelling against His express commandment. And that would be forbidden for the Jewish people, even if Palestine would have been uninhabited. Being that it was a land that was inhabited by a people, it becomes compounded, this rebellion against God, this ignoring of God, the whole Torah, stealing, oppressing the people, killing, maiming, destroying their, their houses, their properties, expelling them. This is, flies in the face of everything that is Jewish, that one must be compassionate to emulate God, to uphold the Torah. This is all being done in the name of Judaism, in the name of King David, under the name of the Star of David, how could we be silent when our name, the name of God, the name of Judaism, is all being sullied and rubbed and wiped in the ground, all to commit these crimes, and, and supposedly they're waving this and saying this is the Jewish belief. So we are here to speak up and say, save us. We have to pray to God for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement, the total dismantlement, the total disillusion and dismantlement of this rogue, evil, sinister, this state that has brought about so much death and suffering and this rebellion against God. And this can happen because God is all the Almighty and we pray that He should bring about it, as I say, speedily and peacefully. And then we will once again be able to live in peace and people will see that this is only a mirage, it's only fear-mongering the fear of the Arabs because the history has attested to the fact 
that the Arab and the Muslim countries were exemplary in their hospitality for Jews and we are exposed to and required to be grateful and show our thanks to them. So of course the time we feel so we feel so hurt and so and, and, and so uh, and what would the word be so well, humiliated and 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 um, and there's no enough words of how our hearts are wrought and our rent by the suffering of the Palestinian people and that and that people think that this is done in because of Judaism this is terrible we we cry for their suffering and 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 we are frustrated that our voices are not heard so we know that this is the solution when the, this will come the dismantlement to the state we will be able to profusely apologize and return what is rightfully theirs and then we can once again live in harmony and be grateful show our gratefulness as it has been commanded by God to us to show our gratefulness to these countries.